I received the question how I record my iPhone on my screen and I thought it would be a great video to make. So in this video I'm going to go ahead and explain how I do that and get you set up so you can go ahead and record your iPhone or iPad onto your computer screen and do videos similar to this or anything you need to do, record gameplay, however you'd like to do it. There's so many different applications you can use. It's just, there's just so many. And you don't notice it until you have this option and so many things come up, especially being a YouTuber. I started with Clash Royale, so I did a lot of gaming with mobile and then I moved over to Fortnite. But still once in a while mobile gaming comes up so I can always go ahead and depend on this anytime I need to. And I've always been into iPhones. I've had an iPhone since the very first one. I've worked on thousands and thousands of iPhones so I thought why not make a channel on iPhones since that's basically what I do all the time. There is a cost associated to purchasing this. You can go ahead and download it for seven days free. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a video to go through and point you in the right direction because I've used lots of different screen recording items for iPhone and Android. And this one is for iPhone specifically and it is the best and it's never let me down. So Reflector 3 is from the company Air Squirrels. Yeah, that's kind of the name, Air Squirrels. <laughs> so with that, they do give you a seven day free trial. After that, if you want to purchase it, it's $14.99. I'll put the link down below. But like I said, this is not a sponsored video, so you can always just search them up as well. How you use the device is you go ahead and double tap on Reflector. It'll go ahead and open up. I'm going to move it over to this screen here so you can go ahead and see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my iPad since it's uh, more accessible at the moment. But what I would do on there is I would pull down from the top of the iPhone and choose screen mirroring. And then it would say the device that I'm connecting to. I would go ahead and click on that and then it'll ask me to enter a code and the code will go ahead and show up on the screen. You go ahead and type that 0848. Okay, and just like that, we are connected. And now everything I do on one screen will be also happening on my computer screen. But like I said, this is pretty awesome because it does go ahead and stays in sync. And anytime you're done, you can go ahead and disconnect it from here by clicking the X or pulling back down on the iPad or iPhone, clicking in and choosing stop mirroring. When you go ahead and stop mirroring, it will go through and stop it so it disconnects. So I also do some other things like I have flashy stuff in the background. It's pretty simple how I do that. I'll go ahead and show you quick. And there we go. Basically, I have a green screen on the background. So if I go ahead and pull these items away, I can go ahead and add whatever I need to there as a video. All I do is load it into video software and I use Adobe Premiere personally. I have Sony Vegas as a backup in case I have problems. And what I do is I use color key. I go ahead and choose the color and I use 64 for color tolerance and one for thickness. the color and I use and that allows me to go ahead and change this out so I can add anything in the background and like I said it works for iPad and iPhones and yeah if you have any questions let me know down below I just want to do a real quick video to let you guys know about this cool feature it does still work on iOS 13 that's what I'm currently running on this iPad and I've also used my iPhone on it on the newest which is 13.1.2 and everything's all working so if you have any questions let me know down below i appreciate you stopping by here's some other videos i think you'll like thank you so much for the view and i'll see you over there